I've spent my whole life hunting for venomous creatures, but the Amazon is like nowhere else. Every branch, every vine, every creek harbors hundreds of toxic creatures, many of them still unknown to science. But this is one that's very well known. To many people, a tarantula like this one would be their idea of a complete nightmare. But actually, these spiders have no interest in biting you, unless you harm them. I keep tarantulas as pets, and despite their terrifying appearance, if you were ever bitten, it would be no worse than a bee sting. There is, however, one species of spider here that you really don't want to meet on a dark night. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm going to move very, very carefully now, because this is possibly the most feared venomous creature that you'll find in this whole area. This is one of the Phenutria spiders, otherwise known as the Brazilian wandering or the banana spider. And they've got a horrible, horrible reputation and with very good reason. Uh, mainly to do with the power and the type of their venom. Bites from these spiders are always very serious and can result in horrifying injuries to people. Spiders are not generally aggressive towards humans, but the Brazilian wandering spider is an interesting exception. It has the largest venom glands of any spider, as long as your fingernail, and holds enough venom to kill a child. Around 3,000 people a year in Brazil get bitten by the wandering spider, and it can be fatal. And there's one very bizarre side effect from its venom, which you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. A lot of men who get bitten by Brazilian wandering spiders actually uh, can get endless and very painful erections, which might sound a little bit funny, but believe me, I'm sure it isn't. Uh, afterwards, it can result in a total destruction of someone's sex life for the rest of their life. The venom of the wandering spider contains a devastating neurotoxin designed to attack the central nervous system. Neurotoxins can work in two ways. They can block the nerve impulses so the prey is paralyzed and respiration shuts down. Or, like this spider's venom, they can overload the nervous system so that it collapses, causing massive seizures, blood vessels bursting in the brain. Every muscle in the body contracts at once. At the same time, it floods the bloodstream with huge amounts of a chemical called nitric oxide, one of the body's key sexual messengers. This stimulates blood flow to the penis and causes an agonizing erection. It can permanently damage the muscles at the base of the penis. If the victim lives, he'll be rendered impotent. I'm sure I'm not doing a great deal for you arachnophobes out there, but trust me, of the 50,000 odd species of spider, this is one of the only ones that you genuinely would need to be worried about. The Brazilian wandering spider has to be one of the most feared of all spiders. It gets its name from its endless wandering in search of food, something which brings it into contact with people. Many who fall victim to this spider simply put on shoes or clothes where the spider's bedded down. Of all the creatures you want to avoid in the Amazon rainforest, this is top of the list. It's little surprise then that the scientific name for this spider means the murderess.